Hey everybody, welcome to an episode of Cooking with the Frisbees. I know it's been a while, but a lot of work has been done on uh, Little Acorn Farm down here. We did our planting on May 8th, and it is June 3rd. So, all the amendments that we've done, <laughs> the garden is really thriving. Beth's going to take you on a tour and show you guys what's happening, but I think this is going to be a real successful year. So hang on, we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. You guys are in for a treat today. So we planted around May 8th um, into the ground after we had hardened everything off in the greenhouse and outside. And why don't you come along with me and let me show you some of what we got. We're going to start here with our cucumbers. Um, we have them on a trellis. We're really hoping that they'll just climb all over the place. Um, they're very small and not super healthy. I'll show you some of the other ones that we have further back in the garden. And I think it might be because of the runoff from the chemicals we're using on the lawn. So we're having some difficulty with some of the stuff in our herb garden. You can see my sage is a little yellow. Um, I also planted some very small cilantro and basil and they're, they're all gone. So I think um, the runoff is really giving it a hard time. My chives aren't even thriving the way that they normally do. So that may be something that we need to look into um, for next year or even later this year. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Keith has a lot of work to do. Come on with me. Yep. So pardon some of the mess, but um, these yeah, are... Yeah, this is a construction site. <laughs> a little bit. Um, these are the new beds that he built for me um, and we have one with just tomatoes in it and then we have another one with peppers and squash in it but you can see these are three foot high on this side and um, they are eight or ten feet long eight feet eight feet long um, and then it's just one foot on on that side maybe two feet um, so yes and we Put the compost and the soil and we did everything we did when we did the other three beds um and as you can see the tomatoes are loving it this is less than four weeks i mean we're coming up on the four week mark but look at this in four weeks yeah they're doing really great so we have um heirloom tomatoes these are all heirloom tomatoes we have big boy tomatoes in the middle and then we have cherry tomatoes on the outside now I planted 16 tomato plants the reason I planted 16 tomato plants was thinking that at least one or two of each variety would die off and not be able to live <laughs> it's like so it looks like no. all but two um, are thriving so we're gonna have a lot of tomatoes. I think we're gonna have to learn how to can make sauces there'll be episodes of cooking yeah um, and while I'm down here, just like last year, I'm going to continue to prune these. So what we're doing, if you want to come in here, I see one right here, is we want to take the suckers off of here. So that's what comes in between the little elbow there. And we want to take that guy off. Now what this is doing is this is giving, we still have the sun catcher, so we have large leaves on the outside, but it's giving us, letting it put its nutrients into the fruit. So we know we've got some buds right here, so we'll probably have some nice little tomato plants there. Um, we actually have some tomatoes. These are the heirlooms. Woohoo! Look, we got three here. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Nice. So we'll be pruning. I'll prune the rest of them. Um, you can see the cherries are getting super tall if you want to go around to the other side. Yeah, I actually have to back up. <laughs> yeah, look at I got some work to do, but you gotta love the platform. Yep, so here's my platform and I'm, I'll have a couple of steps too. So he's still got work to do. I do. <laughs> but we definitely have tomatoes. Look, there's an entire bunch of green ones right here. Aren't they gorgeous? Yes! We love our cherry tomatoes. Oh my goodness, they are the best. They never make them up, they never make it make upstairs. It <laughs> Oh, you can see there's some big boys in between here if you want to show them. Oh, there sure are. See if I can get in on that. Wow. Isn't that cool? They're very happy. I do fertilize every week now. I do a liquid fertilizer. Um, I do one week is a fish and seaweed emulsion. 
and then the following week is just a regular fruit fertilizer um, and I just mix them up in my watering cans and walk them back and forth I get all my steps in on this a lot of work yeah it is <laughs> these guys are all peppers um, we did an experiment so we have some that are seeds from a Costco pepper and we have some that are seeds from the peppers that we grew last year so we'll see which one does better and um, I think we're just it's successful because we harvested our own seeds and we have plants. This is true. Now They're that is, that. yeah. This is a new experiment. <coughs> These are a squash, it's called patty pan. They're yellow. Um, not all varieties are yellow, but I planted the yellow sunshine ones. So they're kind of like a hockey puck, about the size of a hockey puck. Um, we have lots of flowers, so I'm hoping that we'll have some beautiful squashes soon yeah speaking of squash this is crazy <laughs> check out my crazy yeah i think i'm gonna have to get up on the hill <laughs> to get a picture of this i mean look at the size of those and there's tons and tons of fruit you can see i'll pull these leaves back look isn't that crazy wow so this is crooked yellow squash and here we have zucchini see if I can find a baby zucchini. The zucchinis aren't as large. Oh, here we go. There's some baby zucchinis. Aren't they beautiful? These plants are really happy. They're very happy. They're so full of flowers. And if you know about these squashes, so not every flower produces a fruit, um, but each flower is required because they have both sexes on one plant. So the females are what create the fruit and the males are just there to pollinate the females. So. Little birds and the bees talk out in the garden. <laughs> right? So here is the other cucumbers. So this here is Armenian striped cucumbers and I thought they were all dead, um, but they are coming back. This is a little marker I had to show me where I planted them, uh, but they are coming back. They seem to like this space and uh, see, we'll see if we can get some really good cucumbers. Um, next to it is, get this, watermelon. Oh, I am so excited. This is where we planted our melons last year, yeah, remember? This is where we had the melons. And speaking of which, I think I have a remnant of, from last year's melons. We had let one drop off the vine and just kind of rot into the soil. And so I think... Volunteer. We got a volunteer. So, but you can see, look at all the yellow flowers we have. Those will turn into watermelon. And they're just um, single water. Well, yeah, they're si single serving, I guess you would yeah. say. Small. So they're small. They'll be they'll be about the size of a cantaloupe. Okay. About the same size of what we had yesterday or last year. So here's a slight disappointment. Um, they're alive, and they seem to be okay. They are just not thriving. You can see I've got a yellow leaf here. Um, they're just not really thriving. I replanted some here, and they're struggling. Um, these are my long beans from last year. These are all from our seeds that I saved. So we'll have to see what happens. Um, they thrived last year, but they were in a different bed. But um, everything in this whole entire bed is really struggling. These are sweet peas, sugar snap peas um, next to them. But again, it's really hot. This is not a normal time of year for them to be growing. Um, so I get it, they're not that happy. Um, but my Dale seems to be really happy here. <laughs> and it's getting to the point where I need to go ahead. Ooh, maybe we should have some salmon tonight. You're never gonna get me to say no to salmon. <laughs> and so I have a little bit more dill over here too. We just kind of had to start putting stuff everywhere. Anywhere we well, had space. Well, it's because our seed starting was so successful. I know. We had so many seeds. When we actually, how many plants did we give away to Serena and Tyler? Oh, like that was at least 
15? Yeah, 20? easily 15 or 20. Yeah, so, um, but we do have a couple, this is just was an experiment, but we do have some peppers in here and uh, some dill. One thing that has not lived and I put it in three different beds is my time. So I am out of time. <laughs> yeah, are we out of time? Maybe we can put it in a pot. We're I don't 100 know. We're 100% out of time. So I have tried again in the greenhouse. I will show you when we get back there, but next, this is also a disappointment, is my strawberries. Um, I had a ton of them. They were all green and I was so excited. And then I came back out and they were all gone. So I think it's the birds. So right now I have the or our chipmunk or the chipmunk. I haven't seen him, so I'm hoping I've it's seen gone. him. Oh, have you? I've seen him. He goes in the greenhouse and comes out all the time. Well, he's going to get caught because he's going to have to leave. <laughs> um, but so today, one of the projects is going to be we bought some netting and we're going to go ahead and build a bit of an arch with some PVC and net it so that the birds can't get to the fruit and hopefully at some point in time i will actually get to eat a real strawberry out of my strawberry bag. because the plants are thriving so yeah. you and know you see them they get they get tons of flowers so um it's just not working out with our wildlife um but right behind that is this is where i had my eggplant last year and this is where i have them again this year but i planted a different kind these ones are black beauties so these are the normal ones you see in the grocery store, the big black ones. Um, and I have four plants here. Um, hopefully soon we'll be getting, they have not flowered yet, so we'll see. Our other eggplant was late, later in the season. It was later in the season yeah. and we had tons of them. So yeah. I think it likes this location. So we'll see what happens. Um, this here is our hot peppers. So I've got jalapenos, um, shishitos, which is a new one for me. These are very popular in Japan. They're not, you actually, they're like potato chips. You just fry them up in a pan and you just pop them in your mouth. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have, I'm drawing a blank. Oh, poblanos. <laughs> gotta have poblanos. Last, yeah. So poblanos, shishitos, and jalapenos. Jalapenos will be the hottest pepper I have this year. I traded out my serranos from last year to the shishitas this year, which, oh, I have my first flower. Yay. Hopefully we'll get some soon. And then lastly, just because I had it and it was alive, I planted spinach and kale. The spinach died, the kale did not. Now the kale is suffering a little bit. It's not kale season. So, no, it's a fall crop. It really is, but look, it, I mean, it's. I mean, it seems to be okay. So maybe in the fall, this is the space we take it to. Yeah, it might be a, a great place for it. So, and then in the greenhouse, I'm trying to grow some time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not being very successful. It's hot in here, though. Look at I the temperature. Know. I know, it's really hot. I don't know what to do. Well, and that is my garden tour for today. Don't you want to go up and show them the pots? Oh, let's go upstairs to the pots. Come on, now. It's quite a hike, let me tell you. Let me get some steps. Well, when you do it, when I'm doing the fertilizers, and I gotta go back and forth because I only have two watering cans. <laughs> okay, so we did this last year and we were gonna try it again this year. And the proof is in the pudding. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> These guys, so we did, this one is, oh, this is a cherry. So, and we're gonna have- You got one. some. Oh, look. Yep, I see them. We got cherry tomatoes. Yep, so it, they like these pots. This is another one. There's actually a couple in here. I had pulled some of the suckers off and just threw them in the pot and they're coming back alive. So I'll need to find a place to put them <laughs> if they do decide to live. We've got plenty of pots sitting around. So here is another one. Well, we still got that one. squash sitting there on top of the box. Oh, there's just some leftover squashes. Um, this here is a big boy. This was also another sucker. We've got some mint growing next to it. 
we'll see how that does. Um, this is also a sucker and also some mint in it. Um, I had used some soil that was from a planter that we had our mint growing in last year. <laughs> and um, so we've got some mint volunteers. Hey, um, I love mint. Some flowers or zinnias are coming up. This was our rose bush that bloomed with amazing gorgeous blooms on it and then something ate the crap out of it so i oh, not sure i've been using um a rose and flower insect killer on it and hopes and sure enough we're starting to get bloom again good hopefully it'll come back zinnia oh no what is that ha hasa ha ha what do they call those I don't remember what yes. they call them, but hostas. I just, hostas. I just threw them in the pot, and it seems to it's like very it. Happy. Yeah. Excuse yeah. the mess over there. Um, yeah. <laughs> don't pay attention. To that. We're, that'll be gone. We're selling the the tender. We sold the boat. Yeah. All right. So here's another one. We did not get this last year. Look at these blackberries. Wow. Look Aren't at that. Aren't they amazing? Now we've had two that we tasted. And they were not ripe yet. Yeah, so. you can't eat them when they're red. We found that out. <laughs> so we will have to wait until they get black. Hopefully, we will get to them before the birds get to them again. Or the dogs. Or I the, saw yeah, Bella, Bella over here trying to eat one the other day. Yep. But so many. Look, here's another one. There's so many on there. Look at that. Yay. So what I learned about this is that they skip a year. So, for instance, this was last year's vine and it didn't produce, but this year it produces, but then it grows another vine that has nothing on it and that will produce next year. So it just keeps concurrently doing it. And this is also an experiment here, but um, this was full. This is what we had our mint in last year and it was up before we covered the top of the porch. It was up there. And so I had to empty a lot of the soil out in order to be able to lift it because it was like a gazillion pounds so we just threw it down here because I wasn't sure what to do with it and mint it's it's a weed but you know it thrives it is now it wasn't it, it did not when it was up top didn't like I think it was just too hot it too high now so it's down here it gets a lot of morning sun it's under this pear tree which these have gotten enormous my goodness so but I have another experiment with the other mint. So, come this way. You want to take them through our pool area? <laughs> you know, we still want water. We still have, so we don't go to the boat and go swimming in the lake, but we did buy ourselves a little pool <laughs> instead of a tiki bar. So this is where my butt's gonna be this afternoon after I'm done with my chores. But check it out. So when we were emptying that mint box, like I said, it was a gazillion pounds, and so I kept taking buckets of it. I literally used five pound bucket, or five gallon buckets, and started taking all the dirt out of it. And I put some right here. Look at the size of these leaves. Thriving. Can you believe it? Thriving. It's so, the perfect place next to the tiki bar when I make a drink. Right? I just pull a leaf off, put it mojito in my drink. Anyone? Yeah, right? <laughs> Don't threaten me with a mojito. So my hostas are getting too big. I definitely have to, to separate them. You gotta thin them. those out a little bit. Yeah, I have to separate those, but I know somebody who wants them. So I'll be putting those in a bucket and taking them over to her house. So thanks for joining us on our garden tour today and come back later for some salmon and shrimp on the grill. See you next time, guys.